Okay, so I finally have my email from uh, NVIDIA for GeForce Now. And uh, I thought what I'd try first of all is to try it on this eight-year-old MacBook, which is my main MacBook. Uh, this is what I use for all my video editing. Uh, and I love it, it's a great computer, but as you know about Macs, they're not very good for gaming. Um, so I've got a mouse plugged in, I've got an Xbox controller, but I'm not sure if that will work uh, with the NVIDIA app. Um, that's the display port, uh, which is the white one, and then I've got an Ethernet cable because it, it advises Ethernet. Uh, and I'm plugging it through my 4K TV, but I'm running it at 1080. I'm probably better to run it at 1080i, really. Um, well, that's probably not as good for gaming. Let's see what it does. Yeah, well, let's, let's give that a try. Um, so I'm going to, uh, well, follow the email instructions and see how I get on. Okay, so I'll try it a bit through the TV um, and see how I get on. I'm kind of leaning over the camera, so it's not the best position uh, to play this from. So where's my... Here we go. So this is the email. There's no passwords or anything on there. Well, I'll, I'll zoom into this bit. Uh, and uh, free beta. So this is your official access pass into GeForce Now. Okay, so here's my email. Uh, so I've got to activate your account. And uh, I'll just copy the code to be able to put it in. Because I don't really know what I've got to do yet. Copy, activate your account. Try logging with Google and see what that does. Allow. Okay. Oh, it's already got my code uh, populated in there, so I'll try redeeming that. GeForce Now. Uh, so download the Mac beta. Okay, drag that over. Is that, are we installed? Let's have a look. There it is. Yes, I am. Now, I haven't, spec I haven't checked the uh, minimum specs on this, so I don't know if this is supposed to work or not, really. Uh, there's Fortnite. Obviously, I've done a few Fortnite videos, so I'll, I'll give that a try. But I'm going to be using... Well, I as I say, I'll see if the uh, joypad works with this. So I've got to log in first. Okay, fourth time lucky. So I'm going to also try this on my Lenovo 320S Windows computer um, just to see how it works. Uh, so allow permission. Let's go with Fortnite. Is it going to find my computer worthy? This is going to be the question. So my internet's about. 36, 38, something like that, fiber. Bad network. So it says 37, frame loss 6.8. We should do try again. Let's try again. Okay, so we're getting some frames lost. Okay, let's continue anyway. I'll try the Lenovo after this. I mean, this, this Mac is an old computer and I'm sure it's not what, what uh, NVIDIA intended for GeForce now. Oh, might as well just create a shortcut. Oh, I see. So this is the, yeah, this is the um, NVIDIA computer that this is on now. This is a weird experience running through my Mac. Don't know why the sound's still coming through my Mac. It's probably somewhere changing that. Oh, let's try, I haven't tried the joypad yet. So I've got an Xbox One joypad plugged into my Mac. I haven't done any configuration or settings because I don't know if that's going to work. Although it looks like... Oh, no, look. So, right, so somehow it's detected it. Oh, yeah, it's working. <laughs> so I don't have to use um, the mouse, which is good because I'm even worse on mouse and keyboard. Right, so let's try and see what happens. I don't know why the sound... I've probably put my sound through the HomePod. Do you reckon that would just destroy everything? Um, what am I doing? I did that. And 
go settings get rid of these oh didn't sound so good did it uh, so sound sound output living room that's my home pod living room doesn't seem on his take, does it? Nope, doesn't seem on his it. Okay, well, let's not worry about that. Whoop. So, let's have a look. That looks pretty good on the TV. That doesn't seem... Whoop, oh, I've disappeared. That doesn't seem laggy. Well, that, that lagged a little bit then. That lagged a lot. Packet loss is high. Can you see that at the top? I'll just jump out as soon as I can. Um, so if this doesn't work so well, um, this could be down to my network, it could be down to the old MacBook, but I just thought I'd try it first anyway. All right, jump. But I am playing Fortnite on my 2010 MacBook, which is, I guess, something. Ooh, but that's not so good. See if we can at least get a kill. Let's let's try and get someone from the top. Let's hope we get a sniper in here. Oh oh. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, I might get a kill with that. Okay. Oh, you can hear the sound is uh, is dipping a bit. I wonder if it this is just because. When it's going, it's actually all right. So I guess that it would be down, and the and the view distance is pretty decent. I guess it is just down to my network. Um, can we see anybody down there? Can I fall down here? <laughs> Not really. Is it anyway? Come on, someone appear. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see what happens on the on the Lenovo because oh, I usually get down the bottom there. Let's get down the bottom and see if there's anything decent down there. Oh yeah, shotgun. So I'll, I'll fare better with this. Just one kill would be nice, wouldn't it? Make a run for it. Well, there's people in there, definitely. Yeah, it, it. I mean, it is a bit too laggy to play. But then, is this more, as I say, my network? So we'll see how well the Lenovo does. Someone's been through it. Whoa! Come on. Could try about this. Just hope for a lucky one. Oh. oh. Okay, so they're going to be better than me then. <laughs> okay, they're way better than me. Well, that was all right to be fair. So what's what's good? Let's take what's good from this. So I can use the Xbox Joypad straight in the Mac and it just detected it. Now I don't think that normally happens with a Mac, so I think it's probably the software um, that's recognizing that. Um, and so all the controls work, uh, which is great. Anyway, let's try that on the Lenovo. Okay, so I thought I'd try and do the Wi-Fi test on my Mac. Um, 
with uh, running with Wi-Fi, uh, and it's a very old Wi-Fi on this Mac. As I say, it's eight years old. Let's just move that around a bit, um, and just see what see if it comes up with that same latency thing. Um, the Lenovo 320s that I've got is uh, oh here we go. What's it saying? Frame. That's less frame loss. I'm sure that's less frame loss than I had uh, on a wired connection. Anyway, let's go over to Windows like I said I was going to do. Um, so this is the Lenovo 320s now. Um, so a low price computer. Uh, if you need to re-download your Mac or PC builds, right. So let's download the latest version for download the PC version here. Desktop. So 58.2, there we go. Is that going to open on its own? So same sort of setup. I've got um, Xbox controller, Xbox One controller, um, and uh, that's all I've got plugged into this really apart from power. I guess I'm on full brightness already. It's on a funny angle for me because obviously I want the uh, the camera to have the best angle. Agree and continue. See, Windows detected it as a as a game, so it gives you the option of recording the screen. Uh, so play Fortnite. Oh, I'm not logged in yet. So let's see how this does in the test on on Windows over Wi-Fi. Uh, but more modern Wi-Fi, and I've got a BT Home Hub, which is one of their latest ones, and that's in this same room, so it shouldn't have that much of a problem. Obviously, I could get a USB to Ethernet adapter, it. right. Oh, one frame loss is one. That's much better, isn't it? Right, let's continue with that and see if this fares a lot better. Seems to be running a bit swifter. Might be my imagination but it seems to be running a bit quicker than it was on the Mac. Maybe my Mac could have been affected by outputting 1080, um, but then it was saying that it had latency, so um, it was it was not gonna do it from the start, but I'm, I've got high hopes for this. This looks like it's gonna be much better. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, I play Fortnite on this laptop natively um, at, uh, in the last video I did it at 720, um, so I'll put a link in the description for that. And uh, actually it ran it all right, but it, 720 is a bit low for Fortnite, and I'm hoping, although this display is only 768, I'm hoping the just the the, uh, the viewing distances and things like that are going to be a lot better because of uh, GeForce Now. We've been waiting a long time for this. I, I registered for the beta as soon as you could, uh, and I've only just had the email today. All right, so here we are. So obviously with the GeForce Now, it doesn't need to... Uh, update Fortnite or anything like that because it's already on their servers so everything is just up to date uh, which is impressive uh, no, I wish I was a bit lower right so let's play oh look so we've got 1280 by 720 at 60 frames a second. Oh yeah, that would so this looks good. This looks way better. Bit of lag there, but then you get a bit more in this part of the game, don't you? Nice jump. Probably the only headshot I'll get. Yeah, this looks good. Obviously, you're getting this weird sort of herring bony effect on the screen. I don't know if I move it. Will I get? Will it get better? Mm, doesn't really seem to, does it? Okay, well you get the idea. All right, can I jump? I can jump. Oh yeah. To be fair, that's a lot better than my Mac. Again, it's a really old Mac. This computer only came out last year. Uh, I'll put the spec in the description. Uh, but it's a Pentium 4415 with 4 gig of RAM and a 128 SSD. This is smooth, isn't it? This is the best it's looked um, on this laptop. The, the issue with playing Fortnite on this laptop ordinarily um, for me, I don't know where I'm going. Why am I going all over here? Because there's a sniper in here. 
Um, be oh, there's something in there, that. Oh, that's a good start. That's all right. Shall I head this way? In? Do I think there's a building over here? I think there's something over here, isn't there? Oh, the top right, so the top, yeah. Okay, that's me. Right. Yeah, this is good. This is quite impressive. So this is running on Wi-Fi in the same room uh, as the router. Um, on a low-spec computer. Oh, buildings. Someone over there. Look at the water glistening. Shall we stop and have a look at that for a second? Look at the sun. This is good. This is good. Uh, so GeForce um, now is in beta at the moment. And... Um, What's going to happen is obviously it's going to be a chargeable service. But the idea being that if you've got a low spec computer, but you've got a decent internet connection, that you'll be able to play loads of uh, loads of full PC games. Right, let's just go and engage someone. Oh, look at that. It does look good, especially from your angle. So I'm, I'm looking at, I've got it a bit pasty where I am uh, because I haven't got it straight on with the laptop. Let's leave that one. What's this? Whoa. It looks really good. So this is, look at the water and stuff. It's running at 720 at 60 frames a second. Uh, and this is, the frame reel. it's on Wi-Fi. Huh? You're not turning the frame reel. No. <laughs> How do I do that? I'm probably all right. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you settings. Settings. And the frame, the very bottom. Look, it's on Epic. <laughs> oh yeah, show frames a second. As my son's just pointed out. Oh, so. I should have had the frame rate on, and here we are. Oh, it's going above it, though, isn't it? That's pretty good. It actually, um, it hasn't been dropping much either. It said really? it warned me like uh, a little bit about lag, but well, like latency. Yeah, I can't remember what the setting was. It'll be on. Watch the video. <laughs> It'll be on there. But um, on the Mac, I tried it, and on Ethernet, uh, but through the TV, and it was a bit laggy. But it did warn me about slow speeds, and this is the Lenovo on Wi-Fi, and it's actually it's actually pretty good. That is pretty good. It, Isn't it? it? No, it's it like, looks it's way better than playing it natively. It's definitely on a decent computer, as well, because mine runs about 90 on Epic. Yeah, I can't remember what they said the servers are, but obviously so much of it is to do with the, the uh, internet speed rather than everything else. So as long as your computer can... Oh, is that someone there, then? Did I see it's something smoky? Yeah, there's a person there. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm so bad, am I? <laughs> How do I set them off? Uh, right click or left trigger, probably. <laughs> Oh, I should have got that, shouldn't I? <laughs> okay, so that works. I'm happy with that. Do you want to play a game, mate? Eh? Oh, you, you would want mouse and keyboard, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. That looks great. The the angle when you're down lower, I've only got it like that for the camera. Um, but that is, that's superb. Is it all on... Is it all on Epic? Like so we'll go through the settings to show you what... Window full screen. It was an epic one. Turn the thing down. You turn the resolution down. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's epic. It, but run, it runs about the same as mine. It's really good. It, and even though it's running at 720, you can still see things in the distance quite nicely. The issue with playing it natively on the Lenovo is that.
because you're doing it low 3D resolution and all that sort of stuff, it just looked a bit, it was hard to see things in the distance. I'm well impressed with that, yeah. 